As we head into back to school mode, some families are opting to stay home, a trend forced, of course, from pandemic closures a couple of years ago. As homeschooling options and additional tutoring are becoming more of the norm, we're seeing a growing need. Isabel Garcia today spoke with a local mother of two who took the challenges of the pandemic, turned it into inspiration for helping students and families at home. Isabel? Yes, good afternoon to you, Natalie. Katrina Beckman had been working as a special needs support educator during the pandemic, and while as so many did, having her two boys also in a similar boat. She tells me her older son did not take to online learning. However, a student of hers did, so she essentially merged the things that she saw worked for both and fused those concepts together, creating Spark Learning Pals. Now, it's designed to be a supplemental support for homeschooling families, or if you needed to find a tutor for your child, there are options here. New York State has a decent number of requirements for choosing to homeschool, one of which includes an attendance report. Courses on Spark Learning Pals, Beckman explains, allows families to submit those to the district for checking their students' attendance. There are options for live remote learning, connecting with other students via a pen pal program, and other more diverse options, she explains. Additionally, the setup is designed to reflect a more modern approach when it comes to cost. Beckman tells me for her it became expensive when her son needed additional support. With homeschool families, it's tricky. They might not do just one program, so you know they want to make sure that whatever they're going to use is going to fit within their budget. So instead of where you charge per class, Spark Learning Pals is different, where you just pay one affordable monthly fee, and then you gain access to all of our classes. And these types of classes range from A to Z animals with a weekly craft for the younger ones to adulting 101 for some of the older grade levels. Again, this program is not a school, but rather offers outside schooling support targeted for home instruction. For now, we'll send things right back to you at the desk. Interesting, Isabel. Thanks very much. The State Department of Education recently released the data for this year in terms of the number of students that are on home instruction that's broken down by district. A copy of it will be shared along with this article over on our website, rochesterfirst.com.